Okay, in the second tutorial on GCF, we're going to look at how to find the greatest common factor of two monomials. So remember, a monomial is a combination of numbers and variables. So we're going to look at two different ways to do this. The first way is we will use our double division with the whole monomial, 24a cubed b squared and 32ab squared. So we'll pull out common factors. I'm going to focus on the numbers first, 24 and 32. I know 8 goes into both of those, leaving me with 3a cubed b squared and 4ab squared. Now I'm going to pull out, I'm going to look at the variables in this case. So I'm going to look at the a's first. So I have a cubed on the left and just a on the right, I know a can be taken out, so I'm left with 3a squared b squared, and 4, the a's have been cancelled out, b squared. Now I'll focus on the b's. I have b squared and b squared, well the common factor there is b squared. So I'm left with 3a squared and 4. So, just like in our previous example, these two numbers or two monomials at the bottom are relatively prime. And on the left, we have our common factors. If we multiply those together, we get a value for the GCF that equals 8 a B squared. So this is this is one technique of doing this. The second technique is, is similar except instead what we do is we focus on just the numbers first, 24 and 32. So once again I'll just pull up that 8 really quickly since I know that already works. 3 and 4 relatively prime at the bottom and GCF on the side. So I know that my GCF is equal to 8. To find the value of the variables that go here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare powers. So factors are smaller than the original number. So I'm going to look for the lowest power of A and the lowest power of B. So here I have a cubed, and here I have a with no exponent, so we, that's a 1. So 1 is smaller than 3, so 8a. And I'll do the same thing with the b's. I'll compare the powers. b squared and b squared are equal, so b squared is our lowest power of b. So a different technique for finding which variables or what the power of the variables that goes into the GCF. So once again, two techniques for finding the value of the variables. Either you can divide them out using the double division method on the left, or you can compare powers and look for the lowest power for GCF on the right.